Bean. Pop Aganda, a term coined by a man called Ronald English. And according to Wikipedia, Popaganda describes a mashup of high and low cultural touch tones from superhero mythology to totems of art history, populated with Ron English's original characters. Today, we're going to be opening up a bunch of Mick supersized, obese Ronald McDonald figures. Now, you may have seen this character before from the 2004 film Super Size Me, the movie where the director eats nothing but items from the McDonald's menu for a month straight and sees the health risks or whatever that come from that. I'm not actually sure of Ron English's involvement with the film or whatever, but he has made a lot of these figures and statues. All right, let's pop this fella out. These big ones are pretty expensive, which is Bruh. what you can expect uh, from these art toys as they're not produced on a massive, massive scale. But you can see he's got uh, this little badge there, super sized. And on the back, we can see his back fat rolls. These big ones cost me between 150 to 200 Australian dollars each. And then we have a bunch of smaller ones, uh, which are in this gigantic kind of cool stylized uh, box of uh, french fries and all the little ones of french fries i think we have 12 boxes in here we can see legendary artist ron english on the back there and these were sold from a website called secret base which if you remember a while back we opened up these skeletal spongebob figures these big ones were also from Secret Base. Uh, not made by Ron English, these ones, I don't think. But you can go check that video out if you would like to. Now, let's get into them. All right, so this is Series 1. We have Series 2 that I'm going to do a separate video on. But let's see what Series 1 has to offer. I think I don't want to focus too much at the images on the box. I want to see them all in real life first. Okay, they come in a black trash bag. Let's pull this little sucker out. First up, we have a metallic one. Robo Ronald McDonald. Can't compute, ice cream machine broken. These are so cool. I'm very glad I got into these more high-end art toys. Please, Secret Base, sponsor me. All right, another one. It's a shame to destroy these cool boxes, but let's see what we have on this next one. We have... On this side, he looks normal, but turn him a little bit, and he is missing half of his body. Very, very creepy, but very, very cool. A an exposed skeleton. This brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, I'm not fat, I'm just big boned. Give you a nice close up there. He's kind of, uh, the black stuff is looks a little grimy. Very cool, I think this would be a good time to break out the big version, the popper version. So I have a bunch of these big ones. I'm going to show half of what I have today and then half on the second series video that I do. Uh, so the big one doesn't have all this sort of black sludgy stuff on it. And he has an actual transparent outer casing, which we do not have on the smaller one. Uh, but that's pretty cool. There we go. Our two big boys. I can't wait till I can properly set up shelving and, and display all my stuff. I still haven't done it. All right, let's crack open another case. And let's have a closer look at the box. On the bottom, this is the uh, signature Ron English exposed skeleton smile. He has done this sort of thing for many, many of his toys. They're very hard to find or they sell for some ridiculous resale price. All right, let's see what we have in this one. How do the doubles work? Is, huh, ooh, okay. Ah! <laughs> it's your boy, Bonald McDonald. I was expecting this one because we've got his father right here. Again, I'm noticing the face on the bigger one has this transparent mold with the skeleton inside while this one is fully exposed. I would have liked to see more of this on the big ones, but maybe it was a production problem with something so big. I don't know. You will also see a slight difference with uh, the tag. This one is kind of like a gold spray, while this one more the traditional McDonald's yellow arches. Okay, before we go any further, I have 
have a bunch of loose boxes on the side. I think I bought these first, and then before I filmed a video, I was like, I need more. I'll buy a full case. So I'm assuming the full case guarantees us all the figures, but uh, these loose ones, maybe you can get a bunch of different doubles. I don't know. Let's see what we get with this one. We have another exposed skull. Very creepy, kind of like two fat fast food twins. Imagine you leave McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning and you see these fellas standing in the parking lot holding hands. I think I read that there is a secret one. Like we've got five uh, of the regular set and then there's a secret one that isn't listed, I think, like a chase piece. But we're, I guess we'll find out if we keep going, maybe. We have, there, that's what we needed, the regular one. Just a fat old little smiling boy. We can uh, finally give this father a son. He has a son, he has a son, he has twins. Next, who do we have in this one? Open up the trash bag, we've got, okay. Did I get both these from the loose, loose ones? I think so. All right, let's see what we can get from another one. Who do we have? Ronald McDonald. We have another half skeleton boy. Now, they all have twins. <laughs> let's find out what is in our final loose one. And then I guess we'll go back to the case up there. Let's see, open it up, I see red hair. What's it gonna be? Is he gonna have a skull on the front? No! Three of the loose ones were just the vanilla Donald. I just noticed extra variation with these. The small ones do not have uh, these little blue clown triangles under their eyes. Okay, another one from the case. Let's go to the bottom. Let's see what we can get. From this one. Okay, open up from the back. Let's see, he looks regular from the back. How's the face? It feels like a normal face. And it is a normal face. Okay, three of those. Wait, no, four of those. I'm just building an army of the- <laughs> Please laughing boys! Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was, uh, let's just take a look. These are the ones that we have here. Uh, oh no, we're, okay, so we're missing the one with the fully exposed bottom half, and we have the rest. And I could be wrong, but I was thinking these are all the normal ones, and then there's a secret one that's not shown, but potentially this is the secret one. He does look a lot different than the others. It does look like a shiny rare, so maybe that's it, even though he is on the box, but I don't know. Let's find out. Open up another one. We have- <laughs> you are kidding- oh! <laughs> Yes! There's a burger hanging out of his sternum! This dude got three Happy Meals and swallowed all three burgers without chewing. Uh, but there you go. All the way around. Full bony. And just like that, unfortunately, we have an orphan. Just joking. We have his father right around the corner. The big burger swallower. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. I like doing all sorts of different stuff on this channel. I'm happy to see you guys have been enjoying everything I've been posting. It's great to be back to posting. And again, yeah, okay. this one has a, an outer case, which I personally think works a little better than the other out of case ones. I kind of like seeing the burgers inside the stomach. These burgers are a little more detailed than his son's ones. This is like what you actually see on the advertising versus what you get when you actually <laughs> buy the burger. Okay, I think... I might save the skeleton, the new skeleton SpongeBob for the second episode. We do have a lot here for this first one. Let's open up another one and 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 okay, another. If I'd want an army of uh, these little Ronald McDonald toys, I think I'd like the vanilla ones the most. So I'm kind of vibing that. They probably have rarities, and you'd assume they would make that the least rare. Let's see what we have in this one. Rip this one open from the arse end up. Open it up like so. Let's go feet first. I see a skeleton boot. Pull him out. We have another side skeleton. All right, if this is nothing special, I may have to go look it up because it would be nice to keep, there's four boxes left. It'd be nice to keep a couple of boxes. We have, you know what this reminds me of? It's like a Goosebumps book I read when I was a kid with all the skeletons barbecuing, I think. Okay, sadly, I have been Googling, and it says four types 
plus one secret colorway. Which sucks, because don't show the secret one on the box! That is not a secret! Uh, but yeah, I think, I think we're probably done. Four boxes to go, but we've opened up every single one that we can get. Make sure you stay tuned for series two. There is a lot more variations, I'm pretty sure. Now, I wouldn't be Max Mofo Pokemon without opening up some Pokemon. So, let's get into Burning Shadows. I open one pack of Burning Shadows every episode that I can until I find the Rainbow Charizard. Here is a code you can use online to get a pack. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the Leaf Energy. Flip it around. We've got Electric, uh, Bufflant, Panpour Cutie Fly, we got a Magikarp, we got a Simmer Sage as our reverse, and on the very end today, we're gonna finish with a Gyarados Holographic. But of course, we're not done there, now it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! It's the segment where I open up postcards, typically from the Pokemon Center Online. These ones here are a bundle from eBay, I'm gonna take a couple out, I don't know what they are, I haven't seen these before. We're gonna zoom in, we have, ooh, it's like an old Pikachu toy there. We're gonna flip this one around and see what this- yeah! Okay! Yeah, I like that! So like a bunch of tangerines, mandarines. And our next postcard is a green Pikachu that says Pocket Monsters. Flip this one round, and this one's from Ban Presto, which uh, still make toys today for Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, wow, that's cool. A holographic one with the three main starters and their final evolutions. Added those to my postcard book. And that's another chapter. Thank you guys for watching. Have you considered buying any of my merch? Look at my beautiful merch. You can buy any of that with the link at the top of the description below, or you can type into the URL max.shirts with a Z dot cool. That website has a bunch of other stuff. If you end up at checkout with anything else in your cart that is not my merch, make sure you always use code MOFO to save 10%. Using my code also helps support me. I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for being so warm and wonderful. I can't wait to make more videos. I will see you guys whenever that is.